Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and look what I'm trying today. Passion fruit kombucha from number one. Thought you'd give that a go for you. Yay, looks fantastic, doesn't it? Gonna give it a try. Ooh, this is a short video, so this will be a quick one, but hopefully it will taste nice. Ooh. I always expect it to fizz, and it never does, because it's not a fermented drink. Well, it's a fermented drink, but it's not a fizzy drink. Ooh. Wow, um, green tea with passion fruit beer. I know it contains no alcohol, but it kind of tastes like it should. Hmm, not too bad. Hmm, interesting flavor. It's kind of both sharp and sour at the same time like an unsweetened lemonade, you know, one that doesn't have quite enough lemon in it. Oh, there's something very wrong about that. Not bad though. Yeah, end up finishing the whole bottle in a few minutes. Mm. Not much in it. 275 milliliters, so it's like two thirds of a can of Coke. Only 44 calories, naturally caffeinated. Huh? Oh yeah, of course, because of the tea. Raw and unpasteurized. Ew, I shouldn't be drinking this then. Organic, vegan, dairy. Of course it's organic, gluten and dairy free. It's tea. <laughs> tea and fruit juice doesn't contain any of those things. Ah, right. Trying a new camera today, so do I look? Oh, I look better than the other day, obviously. I'm lit better and of course, I don't have the front light on, but there's enough shine coming off my head. I've had a haircut since then, and I bothered to shave. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I would drink this again. It's The passion fruit one isn't the nicest. The, the lemon and lime one was nicer, and so was the natural one. The passion fruit one, it gives it too much of a, it's got more of a sharp acidy bite than the lemon and lime one. But goji make quite nice kombucha. It was quite pleasant, I'm gonna, Go make myself a sandwich now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, remember to subscribe.